To the sounds of Eye of the Tiger, Vice President Al Gore stormed out of the doors of Fairmont Park's Memorial Hall. He arrived to greet a sea of supporters, his Democratic faithful unfazed by the biting wind. I really believe in the policies of the Clinton Gore that have been around for the last eight years, and I think it's really, really important that we get out the vote. This is one of those elections that you're going to tell your grandkids about. In the final campaign hours before Tuesday's election, Gore energized the crowd by blasting George W. Bush's stance on everything from Social Security to taxes. Gore has his sights set on snatching up Pennsylvania's highly sought after 23 electoral votes. I think that we need middle class tax cuts for the people who have the hardest time paying the taxes. The people who are making car payments and house payments and making ends meet. He lost his life simply because of hate. Before Gore took to the stage, the sister of James Byrd, the man dragged to death in Texas by three white men, sent a poignant message to the crowd. She supports Gore because he says he will try to push a hate crime bill through Congress, something the Byrd family says Bush has not done in Texas. He had opportunity to come to the funeral of my brother. He made excuses why he didn't come, that we denied him. That's not true. Those who take the position Governor Bush takes say that all crimes are, are hate crimes. Well, is, is shoplifting a hate crime? I think in Philadelphia get together and just come on out and vote for Al Gore because he has a lot to offer. I think everything is going to be just fine. Many believe the final hours of the Gore campaign will prove critical if he is to close many of the polls that have him slightly behind George W. Bush. Experts say whoever wins the battleground state of Pennsylvania will have a lot of celebrating come Tuesday. Fairmont Park, Ron Ray, Philly TV News.